Today we are going to create this animation. Let's get started. Create a new composition, by clicking Composition, New. Name the composition as Wooden Text. I'm using Full HD Composition. With 24 frame per second. Length of this animation is 15 seconds. Click OK. Now add the wooden image from the project to the timeline. Same image is provided in the description down below. You can download and use the same image for your project. Now scale the image, equivalent to the composition. Perfect. Now go to effects and preset and add a curve effect to the image. We want to darken the image. You can darken the image as per your need, but be sure not to use more dark image, as the text won't be visible. Very good. Now add a text to your image. You can use any fonts. But if you like these fonts, you can download them from the description down below. Scale the text and align them to the middle. Good. Now select the text layer. And right click. Go to create and select, create masks from text. Go to effects and presets. And add a stroke effect on the text mask layer. Perfect. In the stroke effect, go to path and select all masks. Change the brush size from 2 to 4. Change the paint style from on original image to reveal original image. Good. If you mask visibility is on, turn it off. You can use Ctrl plus Shift plus H. Move your timeline to 0 seconds. And go to stroke effect. And click the stopwatch next to end, in the stroke effect. Change the value from 100% to 0%. Now move your timeline to 15 seconds or end of your composition. And change the end value to 100%. Perfect. Again go to effects and presets. And add a tint effect on the mask layer. We have to darken the text. Change map white to, some other dark color. Now rename the mask layer to text. And create a duplicate of text layer. Press Ctrl plus D to duplicate. And move the duplicate layer, down to text layer. Rename the duplicate layer to text blur. We have to add a blur effect to the text blur layer. Go to effects and presets and search for fast box blur effect. Add it to the text blur layer. Change the brush size from 4 to 10. And change the blur radius from 0 to 4. And select repeat edge pixels. Now duplicate the text blur layer, by pressing Ctrl D. Move this layer down. Change the brush size from 10 to 5 for the duplicate layer. And blur radius from 4 to 15. Now we have to create the burn effect. Select the old text layer and duplicate it. Move the layer below the text blur too. And rename it to burn. Go to effects property and change the brush size from 4 to 8. Change the color of map white to another color. For this we are taking little dark red color. Move your timeline to see the effect. Move your timeline to 0 seconds again. Now to effects properties. And click the stopwatch next to start, to add a keyframe. Change its value to 0.1%. Now move your timeline to end of this composition and change the start value to 100%. Now add a glow effect to the burn layer. Go to effects and presets and add a glow effect. Go to timeline and press toggle switches, to change the mode. Change the mode of text, text blur and text blur to, from normal to overlay. 
and change the burn layer mode from normal to add. Now duplicate the burn layer by pressing Ctrl plus D and change its mode from add to color dodge. Go to effects and presets and add a fast box blur effect to this layer. Change its brush size from 8 to 16. Change start value from 0.1 to 0.05. Change its tint color from red to dark orange or brown color. And change its blur radius from 0 to 40. Also change its blur dimension to horizontal. Now duplicate the burn to layer, by pressing Ctrl plus D. And change its mode from color dodge to add. Now change its brush size from 16 to 20. Change start value to 0.07. And change its blur radius from 40 to 20. Also change its blur dimension back to horizontal and vertical. Again duplicate the burn 3 layer, by pressing Ctrl plus D. Now change the tint color to a lighter color. And change its blur radius from 20 to 8. Move your timeline to 0. And change its start value to 0.08. Select all layer and press Ctrl plus Shift plus C to pre-compose. Name it Text Master. And click OK. Now add a new layer to the timeline. Right click, new and select camera. Click OK. Again press toggle switches and click 3D layer button for the text master layer. Now go to camera, camera options and turn on the depth of field. Move your timeline to the end of the composition. Go to transform and select stop watches for point of interest, position and orientation. Now you can rotate or animate your camera, as per your need. You can use different camera tools, in the toolbox area. When you are done with camera settings, just play your timeline to check the animation. Perfect. If you like my video, just click the like button and subscribe to my channel, for more tutorials. Thank you and have a nice day.